Well, good morning and a very warm welcome to this time of prayer and reflection. It's good to be with you again this morning. Over the last few weeks in church, we have been hearing the I am sayings of Jesus, uh, where he describes himself variously as the bread of life. I am, uh, we had yesterday, I am the true vine. And one of the ways in which he describes himself is I am the light of the world. And it's one of the key themes of the way in which we understand Jesus as being uh, light in the darkness. Indeed, every school service that we hold begins with the lighting of a candle. And uh, I always ask the children why we light the candle and they uh, know instinctively now that it is to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. And we'll be hearing about this theme of light and darkness through our reading and through the reflection uh, this morning. So we begin uh, our service this morning, as always, by lighting our candle as a reminder that Jesus is indeed the light of the world and to remind us of his presence with us as we gather uh, for this time of prayer and reflection. Uh, towards the end uh, of uh, time this morning I will be singing a verses from hymn number 264, Walk in the Light of the Lord. So as we begin, let us just spend a moment in prayer. <clears throat> the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from uh, St Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 5. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, uh, a short reflection then on that reading from 2 Corinthians. Today the Church celebrates the Lesser Festival of the English Saints and Martyrs of the Reformation era. Now, The significance of this day is that we're not simply remembering our own martyrs, those like Cranmer, Ridley and Latimer, who died for maintaining adherence to the Church of England in the face of Roman Catholic persecution. We're also remembering those Roman Catholics who died at the hands of Protestants for maintaining their faith and allegiance. We're recognising that there was true godliness and great courage in martyrs on both sides of that divide. It's a salutary reminder to us all of the need for humility, both personal and corporate, as we recognise and remember that whoever our adversaries may be in life, we must always recognise and accept our own flaws and failures 
that contribute to any particular disagreement or breakdown of relationship. To lighten the mood a little, let me turn to the other commemora commemoration celebrated on this date, which is, of course, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. In fact, the Star Wars films are a great example of the key themes of light and dark, goodness and evil that are so much a part of the human experience. In today's passage from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he picks up on this theme of light in the darkness. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We all have adversaries of one kind or another, but we are never fully in the right. Only Jesus has ever been able to claim that. But if we strive to live in his light, to allow his light to shine in our hearts, it will be impossible for that light not to be reflected in some way in the hearts and lives of those with whom we may disagree. So we come now then to our prayers this morning. So let us pray. Gracious Lord, when our hearts are full of self-righteousness, of anger and frustration, give us the grace and humility that we need in order to be able to see our own errors clearly. May our pride never outweigh our desire for peace and our desire for the approval of others never be greater than our desire for your approval. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for the benefits of the vaccine rollout that we're enjoying in this country. Help us never to take for granted the privileged position we enjoy as we hear the heartbreaking news of the devastation being caused by the pandemic in India and elsewhere. May we do all we can to use our position of strength and wealth for the benefit of those who have so little, and not to further our own self-interest and greed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those for whom this day will bring further anxiety of loneliness and isolation, who continue to live a partial life, limited by long-term illness, by fear or by self-doubt. May they know for themselves the fullness of life promised through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Help us who have received the light of your truth to shine that same light into the lives of those living in the darkness of despair, weighed down by the many afflictions they bear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died recently and those who mourn. O God, our Sovereign and our Shepherd, who brought again your Son Jesus Christ from the valley of death, comfort us with your protecting presence and your angels of goodness and love that we also may come home and dwell with him in your house for ever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the Collect for this week. Risen Christ, your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonder of your risen life. Give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. So we gather all our prayers and praises into one as we say together the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
for ever and ever. Amen. So I'm now going to sing uh, verses from hymn number 264, Walk in the Light. <clears throat> The Spirit lives to set us free. Walk, walk in the light. He binds us all in unity. Walk, walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light of the Lord. Jesus promised life to all. Walk, walk in the light. The dead were wakened by his call. Walk, walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light of the Lord. We know his death was not the end. Walk, walk in the light. He gave his spirit to be our friend. Walk, walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light of the Lord. The Spirit lives in you and me. Walk, walk in the light. His light will shine for all to see. Walk, walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Walk in the light of the Lord. Well, thank you very much for joining me this morning and a reminder that uh, we'll be back on Thursday morning at the same time of nine o'clock. So do join us then if you're able to do so. So we come then to the final blessing. The Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us and all those we love and care for this day and always. Amen. <laughs>